Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I was reviewing again the 16 column by 2 row LCD display that came with the Arduino kit, the starter kit. And in particular, there's like 20 functions that you get with the uh, Liquid Crystal Library. And uh, I was going through them. This one here is uh, flashing by using the display, no display function. So these are the 20 functions you have with the Liquid Crystal Library. And in particular, I was interested in this create character function here. So the create character function lets you create custom characters or glyphs to be displayed on the LCD. And you can create up to eight custom characters. And they'll be five by eight pixels. And the appearance of each character is specified by an array of eight bytes, one for each row. And it's the five least significant bits of each byte that determines the pixels in that row. So that determines what pixel is on and what pixel is off. So if you look closely at the display, you'll see that there are 16 squares per row. And they're calling these columns. And it's zero index, so this upper left, or the first square here is zero, zero. And it counts over to the right here, 15, zero. And this is zero, one. And 15, one. So in any one of these squares, we can create or display a custom character that can be five by eight pixels. And if we were to blow up one of these squares, it would look something like this. So we'd have five by eight pixels. Now the way we determine which pixel is on or off is we put a one or a zero uh, in these bytes here. We have an array of eight bytes, but remember it's only the five least significant bits that we get to use to create our characters. So what I was interested in, I want to see if I could create like a Pac-Man effect, you know, with a Pac-Man munching down on some characters. And so I tried to try to visually get an idea of what pixels I needed to turn on to, to get it look like a Pac-Man. So this one is sort of like the open mouth Pac-Man, and then this is the closed mouth Pac-Man. So this is what it looks like. So of course, initially you have to import the uh, Liquid Crystal .h library with the include statement. And the Liquid Crystal LCD, this defines what pins you're using. So this is the uh, open mouth custom glyph or character. I've got byte, and you name it, open mouth, uh, bracket eight, and then you just have these bytes here, and you specify which pixel you want on, and which ones you want off. And you can see here there are eight bytes, and it's sort because it's a five by eight, it seems kind of squished, but it looks uh, it looks better when it's actually displayed. It looks sort of similar to a Pac-Man. So I've got the open mouth and then the closed mouth and then I I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing to uh, look animated correctly and I came up I wanted to uh, create a blank also and I'll show you why I need to do that. So let me upload the sketch with the single Pac-Man in box 00, zero. So what I wanted to do initially is I thought it would be fun to have ETEC Tom on the first line centered uh, on, the, on the first row and then have Pac-Man come in and eat each individual letter from left to right. But that ended up being a lot difficult, a lot more difficult than uh, I thought it was going to be and I haven't really solved that problem yet. Just having the Pac-Man in this one box uh, toggle between open mouth and closed mouth is a little bit more difficult than you'd think it would be. The reason this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be 
is that when you write to one of these boxes, the cursor immediately jumps to the next square waiting for another character to uh, be written to it. So you have to then uh, increment backwards again to get back to this square. So I have, I created the open mouth and the closed mouth. So when I start off with like the closed mouth and I write to the first square, the next time I go to write, it's going to be at the second square. So then I have to jump back again before I write uh, the open mouth or the closed mouth to get this animation going. So let's look at the code again. Uh, after you set up these arrays that you define which pixels you're turning on and off and then you're, you're defining them or calling them this one's open mouth, I've got a closed mouth and then another one I called blank. Then in the void setup you use the LCD create character and again you, you you have up to eight so numbered zero through seven this one LCD dot create character zero is the open mouth character one is the closed mouth and then two is blank and then using LCD dot begin we define the LCD display as 16 by 2 so here I'm using LCD dot set cursor with a variable so it gives me control so I can create the animation effect with the open and closed uh, mouth Pac-Man. So here you'll be able to see why I need a, a variable instead of a fixed number uh, for this LCD.set cursor. So the first thing we're going to do is LCD.write1. Well, 1 is the closed mouth. And here we defined it LCD.create character 1 is closed mouth. So this displays the closed mouth in that zero, zero square. And then I've got a delay of 500. Now remember I said after I write that closed mouth to square one, it jumps to the next square. So it's now in position uh, one, zero. So what I have to do is I take, I started off with position equal to zero and it gets incremented to 1 and now I'm going to take away 1 to get it back to that square the 0, 0 position and once it's back to that square I do an LCD write byte. Uh, this here you find out that when you're using uh, the 0 position for one of your characters you need to define it as a byte for 0 only. The others you don't need to but for some reason, uh, zero character needs to be defined as a byte. So you have to make sure to include that. Uh, then there's another delay. And I haven't included this yet. I'll show you uh, when I add this. I get the Pac-Man to scroll across that first row. So let me add the scroll display right statement. And then upload that. It's loading. That sort of looks right. So this is the only thing that I've been able to do so far is just have a chasing my name across that first row. So the algorithm to get the Pac-Man to eat each one of these letters is a little difficult because I'd want the the characters that are already stationary to stay there but then I want the animated Pac-Man to come along and visually look like it's eating each one of the characters so the Pac-Man is going to be animated so it's going to be switching between those two versions of open mouth and closed mouth and as it jumps into the location where there already exists a character you need to get rid of that character and replace it with the animation so I'm not quite sure how I go about doing that. So that's just one example of how you can create a custom character with the create character function. Uh, I don't know if you noticed there's an extra potentiometer here and uh, that's for use with an example custom character program that comes with the IDE. So let me upload that 
and show you how we use this extra pot here. So this is an example program. And if you can see here, there's this little guy here with his arms waving up and down. Well, instead of having a fixed delay between the two animations, there's an adjustable delay. It's reading the voltage on A0, and that determines the delay between the animation of arms up and arms down. So you can get that to speed up or slow down. So let me speed it up. There we go. And I can slow it down. So I hope you found this video interesting. Again, that's how to create custom characters on an LCD display with the Arduino. Please subscribe and or comment. Thanks for watching.